One of the oldest cities in Arkansas, Dardanelle was first established in 1855. Dardanelle has come a long way and still has a long way to go. From being one of the state's leading transportation towns then to having one of the U.S.'s top 100 high schools now, Dardanelle, Arkansas is a town full of mystery. While Dardanelle is no longer one of Arkansas's largest cities, it still has a very important role throughout Arkansas. With being one of the busiest ports in the state, this makes our town just a little bit more important. In 1960, as part of the McClellan Kerr Navigation System, the Lock and Dam was created. This formed Lake Dardanelle and helped regulate river traffic on the Arkansas River. Lake Dardanelle is an astounding 34,300 acre reservoir on the Arkansas River. Darnell Rock is a legendary rock formation that rises near the Arkansas River Bank. <clears throat> Long ago it was used as a meeting point for many Indians. Today we just see it as one of the many beauties of Darnell. In 1969, the Darnell citizens protested the pr to protect the rock from the Corps of Engineers. They wanted to quarry our rock and possibly completely destroy it. Made of sandstone, the rock juts out of a small mountain and overlooks the Arkansas River. The view from a, the top of the rock is wildly impressive, but only the most sure-footed climber should attempt to climb the massive rock formation. October of 1890, construction on our first bridge began. It would be the world's largest pontoon bridge and would be used to haul cotton. At a cost of $25,000, the bridge was completed in 1891. The bridge was made up of wooden planks fastened to floating structures similar to enclosed boats. The bridge was 18 feet wide and 2,208 feet long. That long ago, the river wasn't near as deep as today, and building this type of bridge was extremely easy. The pontoon bridge was successful for a number of years, but one winter a hard snowstorm came in, and as the snow melted, the river's harsh waters washed part of the pontoon bridge downstream. The new bridge was constructed in 1929. It was called a free bridge and was constructed of steel. The bridge was paid for in half by Dardanelle and in half by Russellville. If you have ever been to the post office, you have probably seen the mural painted on the wall. <clears throat> the mural is titled Cotton Growing Manufacture and Export, and it was installed in 1939 at a cost of $660. The artist was Ludwig Macterian. The mural is composed mostly of blues and browns, and the work has a distorted perspective. Reminis Source Dardanelle Post Dispatch, July 1996. The first schoolhouse was built in 1848 and was located in front of the Methodist Church. The Dardanelle Institute was built in 1859 and this building was destroyed during the Civil War. In 1868, Wilbanks and Morrow began a school which lasted until the first public school was opened in 1885. The building was two stories and was just two large rooms. It was located where Dardanelle's Hospital is now. The first Lizards, Dardanelle's first football team, took field in 1910. In 1931, the new high school was built and it was located on North 2nd Street. A new elementary school was built in 1958 and was located on North 5th Street. A new middle school was built in 1965. The school enrollment was 1,033 students in 1965.